Hey guys, Mike Bodine here with you with Bodine Farms and Meat Market. On today's episode here, I'd actually like to share with everybody a cost comparison between purchasing quarters and halves and whole beef and half and whole pork uh, from farms like us compared to purchasing from some of your typical grocery stores. So stick around guys, I don't think you're gonna to wanna to miss out on this one and we'd love to share this with you. All right, guys, so before we dive right into the numbers, let's, uh, let's just go over some things that are commonly asked when it comes to purchasing quarters and halves and holes and things like that. Um, one is how we charge. So we charge on the hanging weight of the beef, the hanging weight of the, the pork, um, and, and basically what, it, what that is, is is the animal dressed you know, on the rail. And so, um, when we're charging, our pricing is including the processing and the actual packaging and everything of, of that product finally finished out the door. So um, that's, that's the start of it all. Uh, there's different options when you go with beef. Um, if you're purchasing a quarter from us, um, the, the easiest thing I try to tell people is you, you've got you to split a beef right down the middle. Um, on one half, if you're selling two quarters, uh, those quarters, they need to be the same thing. Um, for example, if, uh, if I've got a half beef split into two quarters there, one customer wants to cut their ribeye steaks into two inch thick cuts, um, inch and a half, whatever they choose, then the other one only wants a three quarter inch cut or just say a one inch cut. Um, it, it's hard for us to equally distribute that, you know, between those two quarters um, because of where the bone lays in, you know, how that's actually going to be processed and how that's going to be equally divided um, on that half. So a lot of times for us that, that it needs to be something to where uh, both of those quarters are, you know, deciding on one thing. If we're doing a ribeye cut, um, you know, we kind of have to do, you know, a one inch, a three quarter, um, whatever it is needs to be the same. If it's going to be an inch and a half, it needs to be an inch and a half for both quarters. So um, that's one thing, you know, important to, to, to get out there. If you're purchasing a half on that side of it, you know, then you have more of those options um, and you have the ability to, to make those different cuts like that. Um, the same thing goes when choosing New York strip, filet, um, the T-bone and the porterhouse. So, uh, you know, on that quarter of that half there, um, you know, you guys have to, as, as customers, you would have to agree, um, you know, across the board to keep that right. You can't, you can't cut all of those steaks out of one portion, at least for us around here and the way things go. Um, so if, if you're getting a filet in New York strip um, versus getting the option of doing a T-bone and porterhouse, um, they need to be the same. Um, again, if you're purchasing a half beef, um, you do have that option. Um, and it even extends even further when you're purchasing a whole beef because you, then you have the, the option of both half of that beef there to actually do more cuts. So you may get all four of those, uh, those cuts of steak when you're doing it. Um, just as well as, as sirloins, um, if we're gonna do on a quarter basis there, um, if we're pulling the pin bone, we need to pull it, you know, we need to have a boneless uh, sirloin steak uh, for both quarters. So um, those are types of things that, that we need to think about when we're actually, you know, doing these quarters and halves. Um, and if you're choosing to do a quarter or a half. So 
Um, on the pork side of things, it can be the same thing, whereas um, the, the shoulders that you get, shoulders can always be put into sausage if you want more sausage. Hams, you know, they can be, uh, you can put them into smoked hams or fresh hams, ham slices. Um, but you can grind them and put them in sausage as well if you're looking for more of, of a sausage, uh, um, you know, flavoring and things like that. And for us, you know, typically we want to, we're not, you know, we're, we're not seeing five pounds of one thing, five pounds of another and, you know, and stuff like that. So we, we have to have those types of things in order. And I just want to explain that to everybody kind of going forward. So, um, you know, there, there's just typical options on what you want to do, and obviously there's there's some different options when you go to half and you go to whole product. So, all right, guys. So to jump in our cost comparison here, uh, what I did was went ahead and compared the prices um, to Walmart uh, just through online, um, as well as Safeway, uh, which are two pretty large distributors around the area. Uh, commonly found around the US here and uh, again I'm not doing anything to promote anything here for these guys and I'm also not trying to do anything to hurt these guys so what I what I'm trying to do with this is just give you guys a good comparison um, you know ver from us purchasing from farms like us and actually you know purchasing from chain stores like this so on a half beef that we did with this comparison um, and I'm going to show you guys here uh, up on the screen what I'm actually looking at um, because what I've done is took the weights off of every um, cut that we had off of this half beef um, and this is going to flow from a quarter to a whole it's not going to matter because our pricing is, is going to be there um, so uh, what I did is I just kind of took you know what the what our weight was what the price of the market was and did a cost comparison at the end uh, for all of that. And like I say, I'll show you guys this. Um, so on this beef here, uh, it ended up being three, uh, 232 pounds of retail meat. That's what actually came back from, uh, from this half. Um, the half of that beef on our end that we sold out the door was $1,620. So what that actually did was gave us an average cost of $6.98 per pound out the door ready to go now after going through a lot of these prices and things like that um, what I tried to do as well is actually use the cheaper end of what I found um, some of these different things that were on here if you bought a four pack of steaks might have been cheaper if you bought a five pound tube of, of burger it might have been cheaper so I actually did try to use the cheaper versions of all of this to see where we would stack up against these guys so uh, like I say, at the end of the day, 232 pounds. Um, also, just to mention to this too, uh, we did a lot of boneless cuts on this comparison for our uh, for our half, uh, and and so I think that this gives you a really good look at, at between this too. So you know you kind of lose that bone weight. So when I'm telling you 6.98 a pound average, um, that's a lot of boneless uh, product when it comes to the beef side there. So. Uh, again, end of the day, it was $1,620 on our side out the door. Um, after going through all of the pricing and the same weights uh, compared to what we had there, um, Walmart actually came in at $1,624.22. Um, a difference of $4.22 there. So, you know, this, this was a big thing for me because um, I actually truly thought we would be a lot more, you know, when it come down to it. But the reality of this is, is that um, we're not, you know. Uh, I think that the biggest thing for people is, as consumers, you guys, you know, it is, it's a large purchase at one time. Um, so I do think that that's something that, that does weigh in on people there. Um, but what we like to do is, you know, we're, we're booking out, guys. I mean, this is something uh, you guys can order with us. Um, you know, we've, we've got dates out here and, and things like that. So if you need seven months down the road, if you need a year down the road, you know, you can book these, these types of things with us here. So it'll give you time to go ahead and build up, um, you know, if you want to make that, that bulk pr uh, purchase there. So, um, on, on Safeways in, they were a little bit, they were a little bit more pricey. Uh, those guys actually came in at $1,893.29 for the same, uh, for the same weighted products. 
um, which give a difference of $273.29, uh, more than what our uh, half beef went out the door. Um, so, you know, again, it is something where uh, we, we're, we're stacking up against these, these different, uh, you know, vendors and stuff like that. Um, and we're offering a product, you know, that is, that is different than what you're seeing from there. We are a pasture-based system. Um, we do feed out grain and things like that, um, but we're not a feedlot yard. And a lot of, you know, with, with us, you're buying beef one-on-one. -on -one. You know, your, our ground beef is coming from that cow that was butchered, you know, that, that day versus maybe going and buying a five-pound tube that could have three, four different, uh, you know, steers or something that went into it or, or you know, who knows what. So um, that's, that's some of the differences there. Uh, you know, surely kind of moving through it all. So on the pork side of things, it was a little bit different. Um, we, uh, we did a cost comparison as well. Uh, at the end of the day there, that half of that pork uh, was 76.93 pounds retail. Uh, the hanging weight, which is what we sold it on, was 108 and a half pounds. Um, our price on that hanging weight out the door was 406.88. And again, I'm going to show you guys what I'm looking at here as all the cuts that were weighted out and everything compared to um, on this one. We just did one comparison on this one because we found the one that was a little cheaper um, and just wanted to give a good look at that. So um, at the end of the day, uh, the comparisons that we had there were $379.31. Again, we were at $406.88, which actually meant that we were $27.57 more on our pork side um, than, than uh, you know, our comparison here. So um, there are different things. Like I say, guys, I'm using the cheaper of the cheaper ends here um, to, to do things on. Um, you know, there's definitely things like bacon uh, where my cost comparison was $4.48 for a store brand um, where a lot of the, the different brands that are in there, you're actually paying more than that for. So um, something as simple as the bacon could actually make the difference in price, you know, uh, not much difference between us and, and what you're buying there. All right, guys, so I hope that, uh, I hope that helps um, actually answer some questions. And I, I think that we, you know, we, we take a good look there at, at our comparisons um, and some of the things that we find with that, um, you know, across the board. And, and like I say, when you, when you're, when you're making the decision to, to go ahead and, and, and dive into something like this, um, you know, it, it's overall, it's, there's, there's a lot of different things that, that actually help just besides saving a little bit of money. Um, you know, one, that, that's multiple trips to, to, to the grocery store back and forth. Um, so when you figure those kinds of things in and, you know, having the availability of the meat uh, there, you know, right in the freezer ready to go, um, it makes a big difference on time and, you know, just everything within family there. So, um, guys, listen, thanks for joining us here. Um, please go on, visit our website, um, you know, find us on Facebook, all that kind of stuff, guys. Come on into the store um, if you haven't already. And we're just encouraging, you know, come on in, give this stuff a try. Um, you know, order yourself in bulk. Let's, let's save some money together. Um, you know, from a company standpoint to, to a consumer standpoint, um, it, it's a relationship that we want to continue with all of you guys for a long time. So uh, these, these are some of the best ways that we can put together um, to go ahead and help save you guys money. Um, you know, on the other end of, of retail side of things, um, you know, when it, when it comes to cost and different things like that, you know, there's always overhead that has to be paid. Retail items are going to cost more versus buying it in bulk. Um, and it's just, it's just the, the way that things work with it all. So um, we can save money by doing this, and we can also save you money by doing this as well. So, guys, if you haven't already, check back with some of our other videos there. Follow along with us here um, as we show you guys, you know, a good look into what we're doing on our farm and a good look at where your food is actually coming from. Until next time, guys, thanks for visiting with us.